Hello, greetings to all of you. I'm very happy that this year our International Scholastic Aid celebrates the 140th anniversary of its foundation. Exactly after 20 years of our beloved founder and father, St. Eugene's departure to heaven, our forefathers have began this classicate here in Rome. I think they had their own vision to start it here in Rome because Rome is the center and mother of our Catholic Church and also it's the same for our congregation. Ever since we began our scholasticate here in Rome, we have trained and formed thousands of obit scholastics coming from North America, Latin America, Africa, Madagascar, Europe and Asia Oceania regions who selflessly and zealously served and still serving the Mother Church and the congregation. The celebration of 140th anniversary gives us especially the present formators and the scholastics an enthralling occasion to recall the glorious history of IRS made possible by God our loving Father. I believe that God blesses us immeasurably so that the kingdom mission of his son Jesus Christ to be continued by the objects of Mary Immaculate. We are grateful to God and all those who served in IRS as its superiors and formators so far. Many of our oblate units continue to send the scholastics so that they recognize, experience and carry forward when they return to their respective units the unity and internationality of the Catholic Church as well as the international and intercultural nature of our missionary oblate life and mission. As an alma mater of IRS, I would say that IRS is faithful to form oblates as apostolic men capable of living the oblate tourism fervently, joyfully and freely. Salve, eh, sono Mare, coblato da 35 anni. Sono originario della provincia di Polonia. Eh, ora sto lavorando come segretario generale della nostra congregazione. Sono stato membro dello Scolasticato Internazionale dal 1988 fino al 1991. Per me è stato un tempo eh, molto positivo, molto buono per diversi motivi. È stata la prima volta che ho passato anni in una comunità internazionale, ho imparato a vivere con i confratelli di diversi continenti, mi ha dato l'opportunità di imparare diverse lingue, anche di conoscere qua a Roma molto meglio sia la Chiesa Universale che la nostra congregazione, anche esperienze pastorali che ho fatto qua a Roma, tante amicizie sono state un dono prezioso. Penso che lo scolasticato per me mi ha indirizzato per tutta la mia vita. Alla fine vorrei anche ricordare il nostro superiore di quel tempo, padre Sean Coleman, che è stato veramente un bravo padre per noi e un ottimo formatore. Mon nom est Marc Dessureau, je suis originaire du Canada, de la province Notre-Dame du Cap, une des trois provinces canadiennes. J'ai été scolastique au Scolastique International entre 1988 et 1991 
et je suis euh, maintenant le trésorier général de la congrégation depuis dix ans. Mes trois années au, Scholasti au Scholastica International ont été des années formatrices en plusieurs sens euh, et surtout euh, m'ont permis de m'ouvrir les horizons au monde, un peu à la façon de Jeanne de Masneau qui avait lui-même le cœur grand comme le monde. Et donc ce furent trois années de formation extraordinaire qui font toujours partie du bagage que je porte dans ma vie et dans mon expérience aujourd'hui. Je suis le Padre Marco Antonio Ortiz, je suis à la province des États-Unis et maintenant je suis de retour à Rome, en Rome, faisant le doctorat en Sagrada Escritura en l'Institut Biblique à Rome. J'ai eu l'opportunité de faire scolastique en le scolasticado international de 2014 à 2017. Recordar esos años me llena de tanta alegría. Estoy muy agradecido por esos años. El hecho de conocer los oblatos de distintos lugares del mundo oblato para mí fue la riqueza más grande que uno puede tener. Es decir, experimentar en lo personal lo que es pertenecer a una familia que no tiene fronteras. My name is uh, Father Mukoni Joseph Ratuka from South Africa as a country and from the province of Omisa. I was a scholastic year at the International Scholastic Gate uh, from the years 1993 to 1996. Currently, I am the superior of the General House here in Rome since the 1st of August 2019. What I remember as a memorable experience for me, it is living with oblates from other uh, parts of the world, and it helped me to widen my worldview and also to appreciate the richness of the charism of the congregation, especially during the canonization of our founder in 1995. The congregation is celebrating the International Roman Scholastica. Happy birthday, 140 years old. That's wonderful. I think there are two important things about this celebration. One is that we're here, the International Roman Scholastica is at our general house, and it's also in the city of Rome, where St. Peter and St. Paul were martyred and where the gospel arrived from Jerusalem to go to the four corners of the world. And I think that's significant for our scholastics because they come in touch with the church and its roots and they're filled with that missionary fire to preach the gospel to the world and also the witness of the martyrs, a strong witness. The International Roman Scholastica is also here at the General House. And that is, let's say, the crossroads of the congregation. We not only have the Superior General, the Council, the General Administration here, we have visitors, we have many oblates from all over the world coming through constantly, and they have contact with the scholastics. So the scholastics are getting a broad vision of the mission of the congregation and an idea of uh, the challenging missions we have today. So we're in an ideal spot to prepare uh, young men for the mission of the congregation. St. Eugene wanted uh, oblates who would leave nothing undared to spread the kingdom of Christ and to grow in holiness. And I think these are the objectives of the International Roman Scholastica. Often I hear the young men say, I went to Rome to study, or I'm in Rome studying. No, it's more than study. It's a whole missionary formation to uh, get into the most difficult missions we have today. So congratulations to all of the formators throughout history up to the present and also to the young men who have come here. May you continue in the spirit of St. Eugene de Mazenod to preach the gospel, to leave nothing undared, 
and to grow in holiness. God bless you all. Joyful juncture, I conclude my message saying, like Mother Mary, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for He has looked with favor on IRS for lost 140 years, and may He continue to bless us.